I'm going to show you how to make a customised setup plan in Vericut. You can use this as a separate document or inside a Vericut report. The first thing we need to do is to set up a view. To do this we can go over to project to report and into setup plan or alternatively we can use the icon on the screen setup plan this obviously opens up a select view window and to start with we're going to use the x y axis and say OK As you can see, this has put a border around the part. The plan size is A1 and I want to use A4. So you click on A1 and highlight A4. As you can see, the border is inside the part now. So what I'm going to do now is scale the part down. I'm going to set it to 0.4. That looks fine. Now I'm going to add a stock dimensions in the X and Y plan view. In the dimension type I'm going to use horizontal. The arrow is going to be set to inside and the first point to pick. I pick the arrow, pick the corner, pick the second point. If I've picked the incorrect position all I need to do is pick the arrow again and re-pick and as you can see it has altered it. Now I'm going to position the text position up there and all I need to do now is add. As you can see once it's been added it goes yellow. Now I'm going to set a vertical line. I'm going to choose the first point second point and then the position of the dimension and then add. Now I'm going to add a note to the drawing. This is very easily done. You just go into note and the note I'm going to use a text with a leader and in the text area I'm going to write in what I need added to the drawing. Add four clamps as shown and then add to the position in the drawing. Now I'm going to have a leader start so I choose this clamp here and leader end to here. As you can see that's very easy and quick to add any information you require. If you want to change the font on that you can go to settings and there's lots of settings there and lots of different changes you can make to the font. Now I'm going to add a new view. This is going to be a ZY view which is going to give us the end view of the part. So I go to add and I go to Z Y and OK. As you can see this has give us the end view. As before this is set to A1. I'm going to set this to an A4 size and then scale it down to 0.4 as before. And as you can see, 
it fits nicely on the screen. Now we're going to set some dimensions to the end view. I'm going to dimension the billet and plus the packer. So in a dimension type I'm going to turn that into horizontal and in the arrow I'm going to set it to outside. I'm going to pick the first point, the second point and a position and then add. Now I'm going to dimension the packer. So I go into points, second point and the position. If I require to change a position all I need to do is double click on that position and re-pick a position and modify. As you can see it's been updated. When you've finished adding dimensions or notes on your drawings all you need to do is close the setup plan. Setup plan has been changed. Do you wish to save it? Yes. Now all I need to do now is go and save the project file. Now that will save the project file and those two views. Now I need to set up a report template so we can generate our report. I'm going to use a predefined format template but you can produce your own. You go into Project, Report, Report Template and Edit. This brings up the Report Template window. I'm going to go into File and Open. And I'm going to use the Setup underscore Plan underscore Millimeters dot VC template. And then File, Close. This is now going to ask me, do you want to set this template file as the current setup report template file? And I'm going to say yes. Now it's time to produce our setup plan. We go over to the file, go down to create a report. And this is going to give us an option to open up a text, a HTML or a PDF file. I'm going to choose a HTML file. Now it's going to ask us where would you like to save this file. So you push it to an area where you want it and you say save. Now this will produce our file. As you can see we have the dimensions we added. One there, one there, plus any written information on the sheet. This is the first view, the plan view, and we can go down to the end view with our two dimensions. So as I've shown you, it is very easy to produce and create a setup plan in VeriCut with dimensions and any written information you require. This can be added to any other VeriCut report or use as a single report.